Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you can feel me better. Thanks for the intro. The year was 2003 when my parents gifted me the first personal computer. The 13 year old in me was happy. Was so happy, it was a prized possession. It was an asset which I had always desired for. And with the personal computer at home, it unlocked a few new things in me as well. I got access to a lot of things, notably this tool called Photoshop. I'm sure you've heard of it. I would use that and remove the background of our digital photos, add text, clip art, and then I would print them on A4 sheets and make greeting cards out of them. I would also proudly present all those masterpieces as gifts to my friends and relatives. I still remember the day. It was really good. I was so obsessed with my computer, I loved my computer so much that I didn't even realize that by making but that by making those greeting cards, I had actually made my baby steps into design, a skill over which I would eventually build my career. But back then, I didn't have an iota of doubt as to what I would have to do in the future as a career. The day I got into IIT Madras, I was the happiest again. The happiest any teenager from an Indian middle class family can be. Life seemed so sorted, it felt that the future was bright. Well, why not? I was in one of the most premier colleges of India, and I deserve to have that feeling. Indeed, it is a temple of learning, and everything and every person inside the campus would instill you to do something new each and every single time. So, I also got into the business of learning. From second order differential equations, to climbing the water tank in the middle of without letting anyone know, I learned them all. So overall, I had an awesome life in the campus. And then, one fine day, I learned something else as well. I learned, or rather, I realized that engineering is not the thing that I wish to do all my life. I liked it. But I couldn't see myself doing it all my life to the extent that I would love each and every element of it, even in its worst forms. That wasn't the case. It was a time which actually made me feel worried. My future, which seemed bright and certain, suddenly started seeming with a lot of uncertainties. I spoke to my friends and I told them that this is how I feel about what I have been doing. And that day, my parents told me something really important, which had a lasting impression on me, and I told that even to this day. They said, do not stop learning. Be it your academics, or be it something else that you like, just do not stop learning. And things will be fine. You're at a good place, you're smart, something good will happen to you. This support from my family, from my folks, instilled an insane amount of confidence, and I started the phase of learning once again. This time, it was a little different. This time, it was all about unconstrained learning. Because I had not to prove anything. There was nothing that I had in mind that I would achieve. In just whatever I see in front of me, I would learn. One great person had once said that if you choose or if you choose something, with only the same mind, you will never end up making the right choices. I think I took it away too seriously. I started doing a lot of things. I started speaking to the mirror when I was alone. I would speak to myself and see how I looked when I speak, how my face changed, how my accent was, everything. One day I remember, I spent hours trying to perfect the pronunciation of the word water in the most British possible. Although I knew that I had a quiz the next morning, I just did it because it made me feel happy. In one instance, I spent one whole night reading through the reports of one of the very famous double murder cases 
uh, which was all over the news back in its time. Why did I did that? Just like that, because it made me feel happy, because I learned something. I was proud that I'm the person who knows about that case more than anybody else in this campus at least. This went on for a long time, but academics were there as well. So yes, all the stuff that I did, it did affect my grades a bit, but not to the extent that I couldn't recover. It was all good. Since I had nothing to worry about, there was no tension in my mind. I was just doing whatever my heart. But design always remained the way it was. It was restricted to designing posters and t-shirts for the college festivals and so on. I never considered it as a career material because it never felt desirable that something you can for. Until now, when something happened in the industry and it made me look things in a different way. The startup industry started booming. I'm talking about 2014, 2015. And with that came the need of with that came the need of this new, never heard of, very cool and desirable profession called UX design. I went ahead and I started reading about it. I saw that most of the job descriptions seemed like it's a technical role. It had all the things that an engineer like me would need to have to get into the job. It needed analytical thinking, it needed critical problem solving, it needed me to understand code, and so on and so forth. But along with that, it had a few things as well, which is not much heard in the technical industry. It asked for sympathy, empathy, emotions, aesthetics, and design. That kind of opened my eyes and led me to thinking all those things which I have done in my life which could also be regarded as procrastination is it actually required for some kind of job which is actually going to pay me money? Seemed interesting. I read further into it and then I realized that's exactly what it is. As an engineer and as the things that I have learned in my college I already had the technical bits of the things which was required for the job or for that career. And along with that, the greeting cards and the stuff that I did in Photoshop also improved a few other aspects of it. And come on, we are all humans. We have our emotions and sympathies. And I'm a very socially active person. I love to meet new people. So, seeing all these things together, it seemed like it would be a wonderful proposition for someone like me to be in the profession. And that's exactly when I thought maybe I should venture into this field and see what it has got in me. So that's how I eventually started a career in design without having any formal education. It is this compounding effect which compounded the things which I had inherently in me along with the things which I acquired over a period of time, be it in my college or be it in my leisure, and it created a proposition which was so unique that it made me stand from the rest of the lot. I really understood the power of compounding exactly. Long later, you know, when I started working and things were in place, I was picking jobs, designing stuff, and life seemed good, there was a time when I started speaking in public, something like this. When I delivered my first talk, in a professional audience of course, that day I realized the value that I had generated by doing all the fun talk that I did in front of the mirror. I wasn't as scared as someone else speaking for the first time with me, because I already walked past that. What started off like a fun activity which I would do every night, my friends might even think that probably he has lost his mind and has actually created tremendous amount of value for me. The compounding effect worked once again and it compounded the speaking skills which I accidentally acquired with the design skills which I had anyways acquired by compounding my engineering and my social skills and created another new proposition of UX speaking which itself is a career these days by the way. So, these days, once in a while, when I look back and I ponder how would I like to be 
is not switched from a core engineering career to something related to design. How would my life be? It means like my life probably would be very different. I would probably still do really well in that. But maybe I wouldn't be as happy as I am today. When I present my work to my clients and my stakeholders, I do it with the same amount of energy and enthusiasm the way I did when I was a kid. I presented those masterpieces of those greetings to my friends and relatives. It makes me so happy. And for an individual like me, I'm very sure a career which was only about engineering could have never given me that. Thanks a lot.